So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. Now I have over 150,000 kills in Phantom Forces and today I wanted to show you all of my highest kill guns and I'm going to be talking about why I have so many kills on these guns. But yeah, let's get into it. The first gun is the M16A3. By the way, please subscribe. We're so close to 100k and only like 1% of you guys are subscribed, trust me. Well, the M16A3 isn't as good anymore. When I was like rank 60 to 80, this gun was really, really good. It carried me quite a while. I have 4,500 kills on this gun. I don't really recommend it anymore. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very generic gun. I don't actually use it at all anymore. And it's really not even that good anyway. The next gun I have a bunch of kills on is the C7A2, which is kind of the same story. Now I have a lot of at least a thousand kill assault rifles, but we're going off of guns that I have at least 2,000 kills on. And in the assault rifle class, that actually isn't as many as you'd expect and I use a wide variety of guns but I think for a while these guns were both just you know weapons that you can pull out and do pretty good with and they're not really that way anymore they've gotten quite a big nerf in recent times they're both still fine but they're really not super great or anything for PDWs I have 1500 on the P90 and it's not my highest I have at least two over 2000 but I wanted to talk about the P90 because I actually didn't realize how many kills I had on this gun I actually used to use this a lot when I was a low rank and now it's unironically just like a insanely broken gun. I thought I'd mention that one. But the only guns I have over 2,000 on in the PDW class is the PPSH and a different one we'll talk about in a second. But the PPSH used to have the Obrez barrel and it still does, but the Obrez barrel does like 29 now and it used to do 36. So this gun used to have only 1,000 RPM. It did go up to 1,250, but it used to have a three hit kill body shot and a two hit kill headshot. This gun has changed a lot since I really used it a bunch. Another gun that I used at a kind of lower rank. It was under 100 where I got a ton of kills with it, but definitely still a usable weapon. It fires very, very quickly, but it's actually a five hit unless you're hitting a headshot at least once. And that is kind of unfortunate. A five hit kill gun is not the best, but it does have 70 rounds and 1250 RPM and actually pretty low recoil, all things considered. So I would say it's actually still a very solid gun, but I don't think it's actually that good anymore. And the other gun I have a ton of kills on is the Chris Vector. Now I have 700 on 9mm, only 40 on SIG, and only 87 on 22. I also have 400 on 45 Super. So basically the majority of my kills were with the default ammo. Now 357 SIG, if you didn't know, is like the most broken gun in the game right now. However, I only have 40 kills on it because, yeah, I don't really play this game outside of like making videos right now. So it's kind of hard for me to justify using this, even though it's super, super OP and I do recommend it 100 million percent. If you haven't pre-bought this gun and the conversion, you, you might want to because it's just the best gun. You can just tear through it, the whole lobby with this. The recoil is pretty low and yeah, it looks kind of high, but it's it's really not that bad if you're running a proper loadout. And uh, it can basically two hit kill to the body and has 1200 RPM and is still a four hit all ranges. Like this gun is ridiculous. And the default ammo used to do 35 down to 18, I believe. Now it's 41 to 17 and the muzzle velocity is a heck of a lot lower. But it's still insane because it does 40 damage now instead of 35. But honestly, like the old one, you could have made an argument that that was actually better because the old version of the Vector had 1700 muzzle velocity and pretty low recoil. I'm not going to lie. I could beam people from like 150 studs away and the hits to kill were still pretty similar. But I'd say overall, it is definitely um, just as good, if not better. So I don't think there's any shame in using the default ammo. However, why settle for 41 damage when you can go up to 49.5 and then have good muzzle velocity again and then still do great damage from range? Obviously, default ammo, bigger magazine, but it also reloads slower. So overall, I would recommend this gun regardless of what you're using, but SIG is definitely the way to go. And then next up, we have LMGs where I have two high kill LMGs. The first one being the AUG H bar where I have 3926 kills. Now this is the noob gun that I used to use. And it's really funny because it actually was the best gun in the game at the time. This gun is not nearly as good as it used to be, but it's still actually not too bad because they increased the RPM. It's one of the faster firing LMGs LMGs, and if you have a proper setup, actually still pretty accurate. But this gun used to be able to three hit kill torso to like 100 studs. It only had 650 RPM, but it could four hit kill torso all ranges. So it was basically a three to a four. And it also had no recoil and it had what, like 3200 muzzle velocity. This gun was amazing. It did close range really well. And then it did every range insanely well also, which was really nice. The gun is actually still pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's actually as bad as some people are saying. It's still pretty accurate if you get a proper loadout. Yeah, I wouldn't really like recommend it over any other gun in the game, but I bought this back 
when uh, there was a bug where you could pre-buy guns and it wouldn't reduce your credits, but it was only like temporary. And then I think I messed up the bug and actually pre-bought this gun and it's a rank 20 gun. So that's how early I got this gun and I used it a ton. It was the first gun I pre-bought. I would say a good 80% of my kills on this gun are from like 2016, 2017. And it's funny because this gun was actually like the best gun in the game at the time. So that's pretty cool. Most people were saying like the Honey Badger back then, but that was not even true. It was this gun, the Scar Hammer. Now the Scar Hammer was very similar to the AUG H bar. And when I was like rank 100, probably I would use the Scar Hammer as well. Pretty lame. I know because they're very similar guns, but this was kind of my go-to gun for a while. I have 4,062 kills on it. And recently it became really, really good again. They kind of nerfed it because last update, it was actually one of the best guns in the whole game. Um, but it's still really good, but it used to be very similar to the AUG H-Bar, but it didn't have the three hit kill. Oh my gosh, so loud. The limbs, however, it had a better three hit kill torso because it did 32 and it had a torso multiplier and that made it a three to a four hit as well. Now this gun has a ramp up. So it starts at only about 600 RPM, 550 if you aren't running muzzle booster, but I do recommend the muzzle booster and it starts to ramp up over time. And the interesting thing about this is that when it ramps up, it actually kind of stays at the new RPM for quite a while. It only very slowly starts going down again. So as you can see, I still have 660 RPM, which is kind of interesting, but it's kind of like telling you, hey, you got to spray a wall for like 10 minutes and then start fighting people. Moving on to the DMRs, I actually have quite a few on most of these. 900 on this one, 1,000, 500, 700, 1,000. The main one is, of course, the TCR, which was my favorite gun in the entire game for a little bit of time. However, they've kind of ruined this gun. It's still really good. But honestly, like in the current meta of DMRs and PF, there's basically no reason to use this because there's a gun called the MSG 90, which has basically like double the velocity, better recoil and can two hit kill to the torso at all ranges. Whereas this one cannot do that. What this used to be able to do is two hit kill to the limbs really, really far, two hit kill to the torso, all ranges and one shot headshot at 400 RPM, which is actually really solid RPM. It shot pretty quick and you could actually kill people up close and at range really well. It had bad muzzle velocity, but like that was kind of part of the fun with using it. And then they kind of just destroyed it. Yeah, it can still two hit kill to the body and one shot headshot up close, which makes it pretty decent. But the fact that there's just a gun that doesn't have this drop and also has 20 bullets can two hit kill all ranges to the torso. There's really just no reason to use this gun right now. I think they should honestly just revert the stats they gave it. It's still good. Like, yeah, you can one tap people in stuff but i have a lot of kills on a decent number of snipers the svds i have 1300 on and i have 1300 on the barrett but the one i have 2000 kills on is actually the intervention the rank zero sniper and you got to keep in mind when i was a rank zero i did not snipe at all i don't think i actually used these snipers in any like meaningful way until post rank 100 probably i don't know maybe i was bad maybe i just didn't like the sniper play style but you couldn't really snipe you know what i mean like it was just sit in the back of the map if you wanted to snipe aggressive sniping was just like a thing that very few people did and also the torso killing was just not that good on most of the snipers. So you actually had to be pretty decent at hitting your headshots, but now you can just shoot people in the body and kill them. And yeah, the intervention, it's not what it used to be. Like it's still not bad at all. It's one of the best snipers in the game, but it is not the old intervention. Um, I'm talking the 150 stud, 3200 velocity one. There was this really awesome sweet spot, probably in 2022, like early 2022, where basically every sniper except for like three were just OP. And then they started buffing some of the bad ones and then they nerfed all the good ones. So now everything except the SVDS is just like worse. And overall, the sniper meta has just kind of left this game, which is very sad. Yeah, the intervention is definitely one of the best still good sniper rifles for sure. As you can see, you can't one tap people as far as you used to be able to. So apparently my highest kill one is the M4A1, which is crazy. And the G36K, and I mean, I guess I can talk about this one. The M4A1 is, is pretty simple. It was just the M4A1. I didn't even really use it much as a low rank, but it just reloads really, really fast. The G36 36k it used to have the 300 blackout conversion it still does but the 300 blackout conversion is pretty mid now i'm not gonna lie but what 300 blackout used to give you is it gave you 38 to 17 damage but it had a amazing amazing min damage range of like 300 studs so even though it did really low min damage it basically just had an amazing three hit kill range now this gun it's really bad it's a four hit kill now so i don't really recommend it the other one i wanted to talk about that i only have 900 kills on but a lot of those were with the ppk 12 as you can see almost 700 that's because this actually used to be the best gun. It was so good. It also had a 300 stun min range, which was ridiculous. So basically it could buy the kill to 
any range conceivable, but also you could fight people at 300 studs away because it had really, really low recoil. They've kind of destroyed the ranges on this gun, which is definitely a good thing, but it is a hyper burst gun with a three hit kill up close, which I feel like still makes it really, really good. I don't see it in game basically ever. I don't think I've seen it ever in the past quite a while, but it is really, really good. Then we have the only battle rifle that I have a bunch of kills on, which is the G3, which I have almost 9,000 on. And this gun, it used to be really bad. I'm not going to lie, but I liked it even back then. And then they buffed it and then they've nerfed it and buffed it again right now it can three hit kill to the torso to any range which actually makes it really good i got a hundred kill game with it the other day and yeah i was using it before this update to try to get kills and then they actually buffed it and i was like oh my gosh this gun is insane super recommended gun it isn't for everybody but yeah it's really good for me that's why i have 8700 kills on it and that's my high skill gun we can talk about pistols really quick i only have a couple the deagle xix i have 2600 kills on uh yeah it's the deagle xix i don't know what to tell you can one tap it's still as good as it used to be. The Deagle L5 I have a bunch of kills on because I actually used it when I was a noob back when it was called the Deagle 44. I have a bunch of kills on one machine pistol and that's the Tech 9 which is back to being really good but before it did 28 to 20 damage so it did a 4 to a 5 hit. It was back before like full stock and well maybe full stock was in the game but before Extendamag they gave this gun the Extendamag and then they had to nerf it after that. It's actually really good again. There was a time where it did 21 damage or something and it was so bad but now it does 25 which basically makes it a 4 hit kill which sounds bad but also it has 1500 rpm so um yeah it vaporizes people it's not as good as it used to be because before you could actually use it for like kind of longer ranges which was funny but the only high kill revolver i have is the mp412 rex right oh wait and the 1858 rex i just liked after they buffed it but this the 1858 with snake shot which i still have equipped even though i never recommend it as you can see i only have like 100 kills on base ammo which is way more than i thought i really had to be honest with you because i actually pre-bought this gun right when it came out um back in like 2018 and yeah it was not good and i did not actually use it that much but the snake shot conversion used to be insane it looked good there but it has seven pellets and every single pellet has to hit to kill now and it used to do 33 to 20 times six or something like that so it had six pellets but it could five pellet kill all ranges and with long barrel it was ridiculously accurate and then the last one is the sfg 50 which i have over a thousand kills on because it's the funny pipe and it one shots people but that's going to do it for the video guys that is my highest kill guns in phantom forces if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one peace have a nice day